and guys you know we are going for a wonderful topic that is welding technology from production technology part so guys when we are talking about welding we have already studied arc welding we have also seen resistance welding yesterday but my dear we have just seen one type of resistance welding that is known as sport welding okay so my dear you have seen we have um, uh, done the sport welding and you can see uh, why we uh, went after the sport welding because it was a type of lap joint we were getting the butt joint from arc welding so from resistance welding we we were getting actually the lap joint configuration yes manas good evening so guys just give me a second so that i can see all of your comments yes nagaraju good evening dear good evening nagaraju so guys just like and share the session so that other student can also reach here yes so guys as we were discussing about welding so yesterday we have seen arc welding we have also started the resistance welding and when we were talking about the resistance welding my dear in resistance welding we have completed the sport welding and my dear now we are going to watch the numericals on the sport welding also and also we will go for projection welding we will also go for uh, some other types of solid state welding techniques like a uh, friction welding explosive welding and ultrasonic welding and guys today we have a lot of problem to solve and you know tomorrow we will be doing gas welding part tomorrow is friday and saturday we are going to complete this welding uh, complete chapter so guys be ready for a lot of practice now we are going to have a lot of practice madhu vamshi kenil and bhanu teja good evening dear so let us start the session now without wasting much of your time so you can see two days our heading is solid state welding techniques so two days heading is solid state welding technique first we will complete resistance welding then we will start solid state welding okay if i ask you what is the difference between arc welding and resistance welding do you know any one difference can you write it so guys those who are watching me for the first time this is uh, about me 10 plus years of experience cracked gate many times written many research and review papers these are my areas of expertise and the subject right now going on is production technology so guys hope you are enjoying the welding topic midun good evening dear madhuvamshi yes good evening uh, divyansh kohli good evening dear so let us move further guys so this is one more announcement that you guys have on 12th june means on sunday at 11 am 90% scholarship you can get by giving this scholarship test and my dear you need to register now for free so that you can attempt that test and one last announcement i will say today at 10 pm today at 10 pm my dear me and chandra sir would be taking this session and there we will talk about most important topics you guys were having a habit in the not you guys everyone have a habit when we were uh, in 6th class 7th class 10th class we were going to the teacher and we were asking for the important topics which can come in examination so my dear the same kind of thing thing is going to be there okay yes shubham welcome to this session yes uh, kishan we were talking about in arc welding also melting is there in in yes good evening shubham in resistance welding also melting is there the difference is arc welding is high voltage low current and resistance welding is low voltage high current welding okay that is the difference we have seen okay yes very good manas you are defining arc welding so guys now we are going to see one question okay before we enter into the next let us start a question so my dear this is a question which is based on the welding process that is nothing but a kind of resistance welding so my dear if you see there are two pipes okay 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 uh yes sir we told please okay okay sagnik okay 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 fine 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 okay dear so let's let's first see the second type of welding then we will move further okay don't worry okay let us see first this type of welding okay fine guys so guys now the second thing is projection welding my dear we have completed the sport welding yesterday and now we are going for the projection welding 
so my dear this is the second type of resistance welding and one we will complete once we will complete these two welding processes projection and flash butt welding then we will see the numerical okay i can understand because some of you may not have attended the yesterday class so for them i am doing for theory first so my dear second type of welding process is going to be projection welding actually my dear you have seen when we went for the sport welding then we have seen we were having one plate like this and other plate like this and between these two plates we have made a sport weld like this okay so this was the sport weld made between the two plates you can see this is a kind of discontinuous welding because at one place you got the sport so my dear if sometime we need to join two lengthy plates which which are having very big length then my dear we cannot use only one sport for them for such cases we may be requiring multiple sports so my dear projection welding is nothing but a kind of multi sport welding it is a kind of multi sport welding where we are going to make a number of sport ones okay is it clear okay sagnik okay 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 sorry i didn't get your uh, point sorry for that so my dear when we are talking about the multi sport welding so multi sport means now we are having these two plates let us say which are very very big in length so my dear for these two plates let us say we are going to have multiple sports so let us say we want one sport here one sport here and one sport here so my dear if you want these three sports so my dear you need three sports then you have to go three times sport welding or my dear if you don't want to go for welding three times you can also make these three sports at one time also and making multiple sports at the same time is the name of projection welding how we are going to have multiple sports in a single pass for that my dear what we are going to do i am showing with a picture to you so my dear if you see this picture what we are going to have this is one plate this is plate number 1 and this is plate number 2 so my dear if you see these two plates one plate is made like this one plate is made like this i am showing you guys don't worry one plate is made like this one plate is made like this like this this like this so you can see i have made three projection here i have made three projections over there so what are those three projections these three are those places where i want a sport to be made so my dear where i want to make a sport i will be providing a projection so you can see my dear here the projections are shown like this this is plate number 1 this is plate number 1 and this is plate number 2 you can see second plate is straight so second plate is going to be like this so my dear now what we are going to do we are going to put both the plates together in contact like this okay and like previously you were having a copper electrode at top copper electrode at bottom we would be having big size electrode because this time you need to compress big size plates so my dear what i want to say we will be having actually one plate with projections like this and projection will be at the point where you want sport we have second plate without projections so my dear these are two plates and these two plates will be these two plates will be forced with the help of copper electrode so this is going to be copper electrode one which is fixed this is said to be copper electrode two which is going to be moving so this is copper electrode this is copper electrode now my dear with the same principle of sport welding which is nothing but high current low voltage where a high amount of current will be passing you know there were some resistances one resistance was resistance of copper which was r1 second resistance was coming at the interface of electrode and plate that was given as r2 third resistance was of this plate that was given by r4 and my dear third one more resistance was there between the interface this was given as r3 and we have seen this r3 was quite quite more than the summation of these because you know r1 is two times r2 is two times r4 is two times and that r3 was found to be more than two times of r1 plus r2 plus r4 so because of that high resistance at the interface of the plates more heat would be getting produced 
and my dear this more heat would be resulting into the welding process so what you are going to get my dear because of this because of this my dear welding would take place so how the welding is going to take place first of all you are going to compress the sheets so you are applying some pressure second you are going to pass the current pass the current means current will be providing some heat so here my dear welding is taking place with the help of pressure plus heat both here it is not like arc welding we were using only heat in resistance welding you are using heat as well as pressure so my dear both the things are being used so when you are going to apply pressure because of those pressure these are going to get contact with this and they are having some plastic deformation now after getting some plastic deformation we are supplying the current because of that current my dear these three projections are going to become soft and my dear when they will become soft my dear they will get converted into the sports and you will be getting a sport welded product where two plates would be joined with multiple sports like this this is one sport this is second sport and this is third sport now my dear from projection welding some interviewers are asking some kind of problems one problem they are asking is how you will decide that on which plate we are going to give the projections how you are going to define that on which plate we are going to give projection so my dear for that if you have two plates of same thickness you can see these are two plates with same thickness so when you have two plates with same thickness let us say this plate is of different material this plate is of different material then projections would be provided on the plate with a material with high conductivity because more conductivity will be required on the plate where projections are there because in projections these projections are going to go under some kind of plastic deformation because of which a lot of heat would be generated and to pass that heat to surroundings my dear we want more conductivity so my dear because of that we want the projections on a plate where more conductivity should be there but let us say the second case if both the plates are made up of same material then what will you will do be you will be doing if the materials are going to be same then my dear we will be giving projection on the plate whose thickness is going to be more so i will say if thickness is equals to 1 and 2 for both the plates if thickness is equal for both the plates then my dear we will be giving priority to the conductivity the plate with high conductivity will be providing with the with the projections and if conductivities are going to be same then my dear we will provide the projection on the thicker plate yes sagnik nagaraju midun are you getting it or not please tell me that so my dear what i want to say is written here also it is a multi sport welding in which a number of sports are formed in a single setup projections okay we will come to this point also so now it is written during projection collapse the plate on which projections are there are tend to be more hot so projections are provided either on a sheet made up of a material with high thermal conductivity or on a sheet with more thickness if both sheets are made up of same material so my dear if materials are same we will provide projections on the sheet with high conductivity and my dear if we are going to have same materials then thickness would be given preference so either of one thing we need to choose kishan because you will be easily uh, when you will be having the uh, you can say these projections on the thicker plate then my dear welding would take place because otherwise if thin plate would be having that projections then my dear as you know after plastic deformation more heat is coming then maybe if you are giving projection on the thin sheet that sheet may get melt out so my dear that problem may happen because we need to take that material in such a way so that it can withstand more amount of heat because of plastic deformation heat will be more on the plate with the projections kishan are you getting it or not please tell me that so guys please tell me what about this you got it or not then we will be moving further yes in case of any doubt please ask okay 
yes now my dear we have seen what is actually the welding procedure and guys do like and share the session so that we can uh, reach to maximum student because this series is very very helpful for all the student so kishan you got it or not please tell me that so my dear when we are talking about projection welding there is one more important question that these projections are made up of which process so my dear these type of projections can be made by two processes these types of projection can be made by two processes there is one process which is named as coining and there is other process which is known as embossing so my dear there is a difference between both the processes these both processes are metal forming processes in coining my dear whenever you are going for the coining process then in coining process whenever you are going to give projection then my dear then my dear the thickness of sheet is going to reduce and my dear because when you are going to give projections you can see projections are using some extra materials so my dear this extra material will be coming from plate thickness then the process is known as coining and if we provide this extra material from our side then my dear the thickness of sheet remains same after the uh, projection process also after the embossing process also so if you don't want any change in the thickness of plate you have to provide this extra material which is required for the projections okay so my dear that is why in general we are using embossing process for making the projections is it clear for everyone or not so what we have discussed there are three important point first it is a multi sport welding second projections would be given either on a plate with high conductivity or with high thickness and my dear third point is projections are made by embossing process so like these three points they are important for exam all other things whatever we are seeing or there is written is of no importance so this is how in production you need to choose the important points for examination purpose everybody got it so shall we move on to the problems now yes so guys today at 10 pm you need to join us if you want to know the important topic if you want to know the important topics for complete mechanical engineering the topics with which you can score minimum 70 marks or more than that very very important topic so this is the question guys sport welding is performed on a sheets with a thickness of 1 mm so my dear thickness of plate is given as 1 mm each made up of steel with a density of 8000 kg per meter cube a certain amount of current is passed through for 0.1 second i is not given time is given you can see how small the time is because already we are saying that current ranges are more than 15000 uh sagnik whenever we are having coining operation in coining as you can see the projections are coming from where these projections are extra part coming from the plate so my dear actually you know when we are going to join two plates we would be requiring some extra material for welding so if you are going for coining operation these projection would be taking material from the sheet and because of this the sheet will be getting reduction in the thickness like you were having a plate with some 5 mm thickness and you went for some projection making then after projection as the projection would be getting some material from the plate the plate with remain with 4 mm so that kind of operation is said to be coining but if you are having 5 mm remain 5 mm and you provide the extra material from your side then the operation is said to be embossing in metal forming we will see them in a great great detail right now i am just telling you the name of the operation okay so let us see the question again so time is 0.1 second a cylindrical weld nugget with a diameter of 5 mm so my dear diameter of nugget is 5 mm height of nugget is 1.5 mm and the latent heat for the fusion is 1400 kJ per kg and coefficient okay that is given as 
effective resistance that is not co-effective this is effective resistance R effective it is 200 micro ohms find out the value of current passed so my dear here no efficiency is given to us so when no efficiency is given it means whatever be the heat generated the same amount of heat is going to be spent for the welding process so I want to say for this question heat generated is equals to heat required is equals to heat supply as no efficiency is mentioned to you now we know the formula for heat generated that is i square rt t is the time and you know the heat required formula now my dear they have not mentioned any specific heat they have not mentioned any change of temperature it means they don't want us to consider the sensible heating of the plates they want us to consider only latent heating so you know the formula was mcp delta t1 plus m into latent heat plus m into cp into delta t2 but you know my dear there is no cp delta t1 no cp delta t1 it means they don't want us to calculate this so you will simply be having i square rt is equals to m into latent heat in kilojoule per kg so i is unknown to us this is 200 into micro ohm means 10 power minus 6 current is passed 4.1 my dear current is always passed for a fraction of seconds because if more current will be passed plates may get melt out okay so that we don't want so mass my dear you know mass can be written as density into volume volume of cylinder everybody know it will be rho into pi by 4 d square h so my dear it is rho into pi by 4 d square h into latent heat everything is given to us my dear you can see diameter density height latent heat so my dear you just need to put the value i feel already sagnik have answered it as 406 2 amperes Divyansh is saying 4060 very good guys both of you have given the right answer I am waiting for others to answer I am waiting for others to answer yes guys please answer this question yes Midun Madhuvamshi Bhanu Teja Nagaraju Kishan yes 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 Solve it guys, solve it. Solve this question, quickly solve this question. Yes guys, so this is I square 200 into 10 power minus 6 into 0 0.1 8000 pi by 4 5 square into 1.5 yes into 10 power minus 9 into 1400 so my dear you will be getting the i value to be 4060 amperes now some of you may have one doubt that sir you were saying that in resistance welding the ranges of current are always found to be more than 10 to 15,000 amperes but here it is coming only 4060 ampere so sir don't you feel this is not a resistance welding because I told you minimum 10 to 15,000 current is required so my dear I would like to tell you one thing that here you have neglected you have neglected this heat and this heat so my dear if these heats would be considered if cp would be given to us delta t1 would be given to us then you will feel that the answer would be coming more than 10000 because these two sensible heatings we have not considered here because you will be first of all heating that plates from room temperature to melting point temperature 
so that heats are not considered actually so because of these two heat neglection we are getting lesser amount of current so if it is a conventional question you can write this as a comment you would be getting two marks extra from other students so guys shall we move to the next type of welding so my dear next type of welding is flash butt welding my dear when we are talking about flash butt welding this is one more type of resistance welding you know we were making butt welds using the arc welding procedure so using arc welding process we were making using arc welding process we were making the butt welds then resistance welding came for a purpose of lab joint configuration we have done that in sport welding and projection welding then my dear people thought why can we not make the butt joint also with the resistance welding and my dear for that they entered into a technique which is named as flash butt welding and my dear the application of this welding process is in joining the railway tracks in joining the railway tracks so when we are talking about joining of railway tracks then many people are thinking that sir we have seen that railway tracks are joined by thermit welding and it is written everywhere and it have been a question of gate and esc for many times that railway tracks on site are joined using the thermit welding that is true my dear our india is having the largest railway network everybody knows that and railways are present at those remote area where people even are not there in jungles also the trains rails are passing so if we want to have some requirement there repairing work there we cannot have big big setups of resistance welding because for that large amount of current would be required so my dear for such cases we have a very simple method some people are saying them as a kind of jugad which is a chemical reaction type of method which is said to be thermit welding for that we require only some powder okay some powder one container and one match box only these three things are required we can go for thermit welding on site for the railway tracks but in the developed countries like usa and all others there they are using flash butt welding technique for joining of railway tracks and when we are talking about how railway tracks are joined my dear this is one track this is another track we are keeping those two track with the joining of each other like these are two railway tracks and we are putting them together okay we are applying some pressure also now my dear 10 to the power 5 amperes it means 1 lakh ampere that much high amount of current is passed and when this high amount of current is passed my dear then a small flash is getting generated and my dear you know metals have a bad habit of oxide formation if any oxide formation would be there on the rails or any impurity will be present on the rails from that flash it will get burn out and my dear that flash gives an identification that whatever the oxide layer was present it got melt out and after melting it out my dear these two plates becoming softer and when they are becoming softer you are continuously applying the pressure and under that pressure my dear because of that current heat they are becoming softer then my dear they will be getting joined and my dear you will get this type of joint in the flash but but welding they will be getting joined like this okay so a weld will be getting produced in that so my dear this is said to be flash but weld for you guys i am reading the important points of flash but weld this process is used to join the railway tracks but it is not the general process the general process is thermit welding in this process my dear the plates are kept together and a very high amount of current of 10 to the power 5 ampere past oxide layer get burn out oil grease impurity present get burn out after that because of high current material edges become soft and pressure is applied to make the weld and my dear i am writing these kind of applications also you can see used for mild steel alloy alloy steel titanium used for end to end or you can say we can make using this process but joint 
सो दिस इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग बर्ड ज्वाइंट यूजिंग द रेजिस्टेंस वेल्डिंग माइडियर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन मधुवंशी आवास सर वट इज अनविन फॉर्मूला वेरी गुड सो आई हैव मैंशन दिस अनविन फॉर्मूला हेयर सो एक्चुअली वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अनविन फॉर्मूला समटाइम्स वेन वी हैव सम काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन कन्वेंशनल पेपर इन कन्वेंशनल पेपर समटाइम दे ज्वाइंट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ वेल्डिंग एंड वेल्डिड ज्वाइंट मीन्स प्रोडक्शन प्लस मशीन डिजाइन दे आर कीपिंग अ क्वेश्चन विच इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड मशीन डिजाइन एंड फॉर सच क्वेश्चन माई डियर दे डू नॉट गिव अस द डाया मीटर ऑफ नगेट सो फॉर दैट केस इज वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द डाया मीटर ऑफ नगेट विद द अनविन फॉर्मूला दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ एम्पेरिकल रिलेशन सो माई डियर इट इज गिवन एज डी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स रूट टी एच टी एच फॉर थिकनेस सो माई डियर दिस इज नॉट ऑलवेज यूजफुल दिस इज ओनली यूजफुल फॉर सम रेंजेस ऑफ द थिकनेस and those are given in the data book so generally we study this formula at the time of machine design where we will see reverts so there it will be taught to you what is unwin formula and i will be teaching you reverted joint only so don't worry okay if you want me to add a conventional question on this i can add it for the next upcoming class now we have seen the flash but well now we can solve this question this question two pipes of inner diameter 100 mm and outer diameter 110 mm each so my dear there are two pipes one is this yellow pipe with inner and outer diameter pipes are always hollow you know that then we have another pipe which is of white color you can see so my dear they have same inner and outer diameter now my dear uh okay Harsha is saying, sir, you did not show the 110 mm. <laughs> This is the same, dear. Sagnik, yes, th is the thickness. Th is the thickness. Okay, th is the thickness because I was showing t for time. So, my dear, you can see uh, by flash butt welding using a 30 volt power supply at the interface one mm of the material melt from each the pipe. It means, my dear, for this case. the material is going to melt from this to this 1 mm from both the pipes so you can see the total of 2 mm is going to be the welding region and my dear they are also saying that the resistance is 42.4 ohm so they have given resistance as 42.4 ohm this time they have given voltage as 30 volt and they have given the unit melt energy as this then the time required for welding in second is so my dear if you are going to solve this this time my dear you would be having heat generated as v square upon r into t when current is given it is i square rt when current is not given voltage is given it is v square by rt so this is going to be our heat generated my dear and my dear what is heat required heat required for that my dear you can see what is weld nugget because we are going to melt the weld nugget with the heat coming from the welding operation so my dear if you want to see the weld nugget shape and size our weld nugget would be starting from this and it will be ending ending here so my dear if you want to see the weld nugget weld nugget is hollow cylindrical only weld nugget is hollow cylinder only so this will be having this shape and size this is hollow cylindrical so my dear i will be writing heat required is volume into unit melt energy because it is mega joule per meter cube so we can write volume as pi by 4 d outer ka square minus d inner ka square into 64 okay volume hai to you will be taking 2 mm okay 2 mm 2 mm is the height i am writing it h only you can put the Value later on, so sixty four that is mega joule means ten power six. Now it is joule per meter cube. Okay, and this will be meter cube. So overall you will be getting it as joule, and you can see there is nothing mentioned about efficiency. So as there is nothing mentioned about efficiency, you will put heat generation is equal to heat requirement. 
I am answering your question guys don't worry first let me show you the formula we are going to use it is 64.4 into 10 power 6 pi by 4 110 ka square minus 100 ka square into 2 into 10 to the power minus 9 so you just need to solve it current is not given to us so we will take v square by r into t and you need to find out the time for this okay now the question is there from some student okay rajendra if both are same material and same thickness then on which plate projections are decided finally dear actually when we are having both the cases same then we have a different process that also i am going to tell you in the in the miscellaneous portion which is on the saturday so there we will be discussing for such kind of things like uh, what would be uh, the case if if my dear some in some of the question they will give you melting points then how to decide so there are many such cases that we are going to discuss in terms of questions okay so don't worry about that right now we have discussed the logical theory parts related to that okay so that kind of thing also we are going to discuss in the upcoming class so rajendra can you wait it for one more day for that yes fine so dear tell me the answer for this question what would be the answer for this question okay divyansh have given the answer as b so divyansh is it for this question solve it guys very good madhu amshi Madhu Vamshi is saying 10 second. Yes. Midun is also saying 10 second. What about others? Yes. Fine guys. So you will be getting the answer as 10 seconds. All the data are given to you. Okay. You need to just use it fine very good guys so do like and share the session so that other student can also reach there then my dear this is one more question a sport welding is performed with a current of 35,000 amperes 35,000 amperes for a period of you can see the current is passed for very very less amount of time 0 0.01 second if effective resistance is 120 micro ohms nugget can be considered as a cylindrical nugget with a diameter of 6 mm height of 2.5 mm heat required for melting 10 joule per mm cube then find out heat loss to the surrounding you need to find out heat loss I told you heat loss is heat generated minus heat required that you need to find out you know the formula for generated you know the formula for required you just need to solve this very good Sagnik very good Divyansh no issues dear no issues here you can make mistake in exam you shall not okay yes guys solve this question so guys as I said okay Sagnik have given the answer 763 Sagnik have given the answer as C so after this question we will see the solid state welding processes okay guys Very good, Sagnik, Divyansh, Madhuvamshi, Midun. Yes, yes, Rajendra, are you there or not? Harsha, you got that question or not? Okay, Midun is also saying the answer to be C. Very good. So guys, the answer is C. Yes, you guys are correct. C is correct. Very good, uh, Nagaraju. Okay. 
fine guys. So guys, let us see what to do for this question. Heat loss. Heat generated minus heat required. Heat generated is I square RT. Minus heat required is my dear. It is mentioned 10 joule per mm cube. So 10 joule per mm cube into volume of nugget. So that is what we need to do guys okay so see the Vyansh is saying the answer very good so guys i square rt is 35000 ka square into resistance is 42.4 42.4 ohms is it sorry 120 ohm so i will say 120 into 10 power minus 6 and the time for which the current is passed is 0 0.01 minus 10 into volume is pi by 4 d square h the answer will be coming out to be 7 okay so you are getting 763 as the loss so the answer is 763 joules okay guys so this is how we can solve it let us move to the next topic guys now we are going to see solid state welding process. Yes. Okay. Then we will have these questions also. I have a number of questions for you guys. So before we go for those questions, let us start a discussion on solid state welding processes. So my dear, in solid state welding process, the first process is explosive welding. First of all, you must be aware what is a solid state welding process actually. My dear, when we are going to talk about solid state welding process, it is that kind of process in which it is that kind of process in which we are not going to melt the plates. So my dear, in arc welding, the plates were melting. In resistance welding, the plates were melting. But my dear, in this welding, plates are not going to melt out. So my dear, if plates will not be getting melt, then how the materials will be joined? My dear, here materials will be joined with the help of a kind of diffusion. As if I am only having, if I am only having a container, and my dear, that container is having two parts, in which this is gas A, this is gas B. If I just remove this partition, you would be having A plus B everywhere you will get gas A is diffused into gas B, gas B is diffused into gas A. And my dear, that kind of thing means they will be getting some kind of diffusion by bonding. A will be getting diffusion with B, B will be getting diffusion with A. Such type of thing we are going to see in case of diffusion welding or you can say solid state welding. So for this solid state welding, the very first type is explosive welding. As the name suggests, we are going to use we are going to use some explosive material for this is it clear so my dear we are going to use some explosive material for this now how we are going to use this explosive material yes the same with which the bombs are going to be produced have you seen in Dipavli we were using some kind of patas where we are using some kind of this powder, explosive powder. We are putting there and we are just using that to bombard. So the same kind of thing we are going to do my dear in this. But don't worry we are going to explode up to certain limits which can only produce welding nothing more than that. My dear if you are talking about this explosion welding what we are going to have actually there is one plate. It is said to be target plate and target plate is always a thick plate then my dear we will be having a thin plate and that thin plate is said to be flyer plate so actually when we want to join these two plates surface on surface like this then my dear we are going to use explosion welding surface on surface till now we were having this as butt weld this as lap joint where you were joining at some point but if you want to join two plates one over another like this 
means you want to make layer of one material onto other so my dear when we are going to make the layer of one material onto the other such kind of process is known as explosion welding and in this we are going to have this flyer plate and second is said to be this target plate so my dear we want this flyer plate to come on the target plate and they become one only flyer plate becomes a layer over the target plate that is our target is it clear yes reported for <laughs> fine okay so guys when we are talking about this flyer plate and this buffer plate what is the meaning of this buffer plate actually we are using some explosive material you can see here some explosive material is placed you can see this is the explosive material so my dear when this explosive material is placed my dear what is the meaning of this explosive material this explosive material is going to be used for produce the explosion and my dear you know explosive material cannot produce the explosion until we start it and for starting purpose we are putting detonatory if you remember there was a movie there was a movie of nana patekar where there was a character ganda swami and they were just uh, about to explode some kind of bombardment in the country and my dear if you remember that one more character is there i feel you would be remembering that movie i feel it is tiranga in that movie the, he says that i have taken fuse conductor out because without that it cannot start so here my dear detonator is going to use going to start the explosion so my dear when this explosion will be started with the detonator then my dear a very huge pressure wave is going to create and my dear because of that pressure wave this flyer plate is going to attack on the work piece and it is going to just go over there and it is going to just become the layer the top layer of the target plate but my dear you know as explosion will happen heavy explosion may create distortion and also blackening of the surface of this flyer plate so my dear we don't want the surface of flyer plate to be affected with the explosion for that purpose my dear in between we are keeping this buffer plate for the safety of the flyer plate this buffer plate is generally made up of rubber because you know rubber is the excellent uh, excellent vibration absorption material so my dear that's why we are using a rubber of high quality which can withstand high temperatures also so my dear whenever you are going to start explosion because of high pressure this flyer plate is going to just join the work piece and it is going to be a part of it but my dear we have provided some angle also here so the reason for this angle is to give the direction to the welding process so that welding should occur in this direction and my dear for initial impact we are providing some distance between these two and that distance is given the name of stand off distance so this stand off distance is provided so that my dear we can get some initial impact also before starting of the welding process please tell me guys are you getting it or not this is something about explosive welding is it clear or not please tell me that my dear after this we are going to discuss the second process which is friction welding and then we will see some questions tomorrow only because the time is about to over one more process we are going to discuss right now is it clear for everyone guys yes very good guys so guys next is we will see this question but tomorrow tomorrow we will see other questions madhuvamshi inclination is given for direction of welding have you seen whenever you are going for lamination of the mobile have you seen whenever you are going for the lamination of mobile what that person is going to do he is putting the plate then he is going to provide a pressure like this so that the air gets go and this joining is also having some direction so my dear to give a direction that this is how the weld is going to perform so that there shall not be any air remain inside it would be just joined like this to get a direction we are giving that kind of inclination the similar process are are you getting it or not the simpler way we are going to explain yes nagaraju where it is required i already told you when we are going to make composites you know in composite we are going to have one layer over other let us say you want a layer of fresh aluminium on to some other material you want to have a layer of copper on to some other material to improve its conductivity 
so laminated composite is the application for the same okay yes we shall watch the example is laminated composite in laminated composite we are going to have layers of copper over other materials and that copper is going to increase the conductivity for the kitchen utensils okay dear buffer plate is going to save the flyer plate from the vibrations and heat coming from explosion okay and because of the heat of that explosion this flyer plate is acting like solid state solid sorry semi solid so my dear to avoid the melting of that and also to avoid the effect of vibrations and also to save the surface of flyer plate from the explosion we are going to do, do this is it clear is it fine guys so actually i feel the time is already there uh, it is about to complete so shall we uh, wind up here shall we discuss this friction welding tomorrow yes sagnik you got your doubt vishal what's you got it yes guys uh fine so guys we will be starting this friction welding tomorrow and this is very very important process because it have been asked in gate 2021 examination so my dear tomorrow we will start from here and i have at least 8 to 10 problem to solve in the class so tomorrow we will see this friction welding ultrasonic welding 5 to 6 question and also we will go for gas welding and i feel on saturday uh, means day after tomorrow we will try to complete the session uh complete the welding and my dear this is my request that today at 10 pm you can join us to get the important topics from complete mechanical engineering okay 10 pm me and chandra sir would be there to tell you the most important topic from which 70 to 75% of paper will be coming and it have been from the previous years questions so my dear 70 to 75% of exam is coming from those less than 70 topics okay so we are going to have that session at 10 pm do join us live on the same channel same platform at 10 pm goodbye guys for this session thanks for joining